Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Renaissance Rocha. My name is Andrew Rocha and I'm a 23 year old Canadian goalie currently playing my second season of hockey here in Finland. In today's video we head up to the Arctic Circle where we play Keki and Kamiadavi. This happens to be one of my worst games of the season, but I assure you it's still an entertaining one. This is also the game where I accidentally spear somebody. He was standing way too close to me. And the game where our GM Paru absolutely darts somebody with a water bottle. Clean. Clean shot. Despite this being a tough game for myself, I hope you enjoy the antics. But first, let's roll that intro. Good morning. Good morning. We're going on a road trip. We're just waiting for Mello. Mr. Mello, you're late. But not bad, actually, Mello. Moro! Are we going to the schools? No. Not today. We're going to the school. No, school. Three. Ice <laughs> hockey. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm going to be laying right on the floor of that bus. No one's going to bother me. Ronnie's been here since 3 a.m. Getting things ready. Tight. Ronnie didn't leave last night. Yeah, Ronnie right slept here. Yeah, I slept. Yeah. Yeah. Me and the coach. Yeah, <laughs> getting ready. <laughs> Big weekend ahead. Yeah. Any strategy? Just win. Just a bunch win. of goals and celebrate hard. That's good. Yeah. yeah that's good that's all we need. That's a good plan. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you'd like to say? No, nothing. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. So after packing up the bus and getting everything ready, we made our way to Kamiyavi where I would play my first ever game in the Arctic Circle. What's up, dude? Ready to go, buddy? So here we are, made it to the rink. Got our new sweaters, looking fresh. Equipment man. Hello. Thank you, thank you. Mr. Paru. Oh, put on it. Yeah, wait for me. I wait for you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, no worries. Here we are. <laughs> Mel, you missed the meeting. <laughs> Following the team meeting, we started getting ready for the game. We stretched out the legs, which was especially important since we just got off the bus from a long road trip. We then got dressed, went on the ice for warm-ups, and then prepared for puck drop. Coming into the game, I felt pretty good, but fairly early on in the first, Keki won the drawback to the D, who took a partially screened shot, which got deflected. The puck then bounced to the side behind the goal line. The player tried to tuck it behind me, but since I was a little out of position, I tried to seal the distance between me and the net with the back of my pad. The player then passed it in front, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get back in time. Before I knew it, the puck was in the back of the net. Those scrambles in front can sometimes be hard to predict, so it's usually best to just play position and get back to my post early on. Fortunately, we were quick to respond as when we entered the zone off the rush, Matias sniped one far side to tie the game 1-1. We finished the period strong, but the score remained the same heading into the second. In the second, things got a little interesting. As Melo tried to get the puck out of the zone, he got hit into the boards in front of Keki's bench. As he went back into the play, he got shoved again by the same player, which then caused Melo to react with one of the most clear-cut spears I've ever seen in my life. At this moment, I knew we were probably going to have to kill a very long penalty, which we did. Melo got a 5-minute major plus a 2-minute minor. He was also kicked out of the game for his actions. On Keki's power play, they passed the puck into the slot for a soft one-timer. In my opinion, this was a terrible goal and one I definitely wanted back. They continued the power play pressure, moving the puck to the point. The D took a shot blocker side, but the puck got deflected in front, causing it to redirect up and over into the back of the net. Not long after, the puck got lost in the slot, which was then picked up by Keki's player, who was quick to capitalize with a nice shot over my pad just under the blocker. This was a frustrating moment knowing we let up three goals in just a short amount of time. Shortly after, Keki came in off the rush, shooting a similar shot and scoring. This was it for me as I was then pulled. As a goalie, this is one of the worst feelings. At this point in my career, it had been years since I had last been pulled and I had honestly forgotten how terrible it feels. Knowing you didn't play your best and letting your team down sucks. 
Even though I didn't think it was because of a lack of effort, sometimes you just have a bad game. It's important to not let these moments define you. Being a goalie is very mental and getting pulled is unfortunately sometimes part of the position. It's crucial to learn from your mistakes but not dwell on them. Embrace the negative emotions but then let it go, forget about it, and move on. The team then called a timeout and then sent Mule in to relieve me of my duties. From this moment on, you really felt the team's energy shift. We went on to score five unanswered goals, putting us in the lead 6-5. But, just when you thought you won the game, they scored late in the third to tie the game 6-6. Nothing was resolved in overtime, so this thing went to a shootout. While the shootout wasn't totally going our way, it was entertaining to watch our general manager, Potty, dart a kid with a water bottle as he skated by our bench, celebrating. Please don't try this at home. While Keki had thought they won the game, this was actually a mistake. For some reason, they had assumed that there was only three shots in the shootout. However, after some further review, they had realized that it was a five-shot shootout. Unfortunately, the extra two shots didn't make that much of a difference since we ended up losing the game anyway. Well, that was a disappointing loss, losing it in a shootout, but I do have to say I'm proud of the guys for coming back after being down 5-1. As every goalie knows, getting pulled is one of the worst feelings. The most important thing is to learn from it, move on, and get better. As Sherry Basson once told me, don't get too high on the highs and don't get too low on the lows. So you know what? Just going to have to regroup after this game and get ready for the next one. Before we close things out, I'd just like to get Mello's closing thoughts on his spearing penalty. Uh, for the record, I do not condone any water bottle throwing or spearing of other opponents. So, um, be a good sport, but let's hear from the goon himself, Mr. Mello. Not a goon. That guy shouldn't have been standing there. Uh, first off, Paru, beautiful shot. I was just, just darted at him. <laughs> Fuck that guy. And uh, for my spearing... The guy hit me. I told him if he hit me again, I was going to spear him. He hit me again, and I'm a man of my word, so, you know, I speared him right in the midsection. Maybe a bit lower. <laughs> Anyways, he, I don't think he's going to bother me for the rest of the year, but uh, yeah, it almost all worked out. Sorry to the team for uh, getting a dumb penalty, though. Well, there you go, folks. You've heard a trade from the horse's mouth. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.